Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Texas Motor Speedway here for the second race in the round of eight. James Bowes, last week's winner at uh, Las Vegas, who captured the win to uh, get himself locked into the championship round. He is he sits on your pole. Zachary Fitzwater Sr., one of the drivers below the cutoff line. Not by much, but still he's below. As those two are on the front row, as James Bowles is going to lead the field of green at Texas. Liam Brock in the 33 had a real good at Vegas. Finished third, I believe, in that race. He battles Fitzwater for a second. He's going to try to clear him there. As this bowls out with the earlier lead last week, catcher his uh, 17th career win, beating his own record there of most wins by a driver. Is out of the turn. Same close with the lead, Sam Austin battling William Brock for second. Guys that really need to do well in this race, then or Diego Lopez is one of them. It's the, uh, it's Ramian Fisher who won this race last time. We were, oh, last season, big wreck the 17 hard into the wall. And the caution flag is out. The two, the 22 involved, Simon Bloomfield, the rookie. But that 17 took a hard hit into that wall right there. I think he's okay, but he's done. That's Konstantinovich right there. And the caution's gonna be out. So James Bowles in the 48 is your leader. Did they wreck again? I hope they didn't wreck again. Nah, they're good. So the yellow flag flies, the 48 out front. Let's get, take a look at the replay. Right here, I think they went four wide. Let's see here. Yeah, the 17 just went up on the track and just made contact with 14, 11, goes hard into that wall right there. 22, nowhere to go. James Sabrina don't know where to go. Oh, the 14 also went around. Joe Jefferson did. Gets into the 31. I think those are the only drivers that were involved. In a ride on board of 17 here from Sentinovich. Oh man, that's a hard hit. So the yellow flag flies here for the first time at Texas. We'll get you back to the restart. So as we get ready to go green, two drivers out of the race at 22 and 17. Um, two and Eli Brad and Max Anderson. Not sure why. But the 20 of Chauncey Henry Jr. is actually shown as your leader. There he is as Green Flag is back out. And right behind him, the guy who won this race earlier in the season, Marcus Yepes, made the chase but ended up getting eliminated. Yepes still put up a good fight. There goes James Bowles. Going to make his way back underneath the 43 for a second. Going to try to go back up to the lead there. Diego Yepes in the 77, there he is having a good run right now, but getting out. He's on the outside line, not the preferred line here. Oh, he actually has heavy rear end damage, the 77 does. Yepes cannot wreck here in this race. Him or Philip Parker, there goes Philip Parker right there. They need a top 10. Yepes dropping like a rock on the outside. If either of those two drivers getting a wreck, then next week is going to be extremely difficult for them as if they don't win then they're going to miss the championship round as we go back to the front it's still chauncey henry jr oh no it's now it's james bowles in the 48 as bowles take the lead but has lap cars um, amarados in the 38 right behind him and he's going to try and clear as james bowles retakes the lead at texas 72 and 88 hoping for a caution right now because they are one lap down James Bowles looking really fast here as he's gonna now try to go underneath at 72 he's wasting no time he wants to make it real hard for those chasers to 
win a race. Right behind them, three wide. Will James Bowes let his teammate get a lap back if he holds up? If you remember last week at Vegas, Eli Bright actually kind of held James Bowes up, but and the team had to tell Bright to get out of um out of the way, and he did. So um, they had to talk about that after the race, even though James Bowes still won. Liam Brock has been running real strong. So does the one. Gustavo Rocha has come so close to winning so many times. He's been dominant throughout the chase. And he just ends up being in the wrong place at the wrong time. It just can't get that win to move on. And I've been saying it all chase long. I expect that one to be into the final four. But nothing is official until we are at Homestead or at, until Phoenix. James Bowles has went around the 88. Eddie Riley currently sits in the 34th position to lap down. Or, or William Brock is currently run second. Gustavo Rocha third. Philip Parker having the run he needs right now because he's so far below the cutoff line. Because last week was a whole mess, a big mess for the Chasers. So Parker needs a really good run right now. And I I don't even know where the 77 is. There he is on pit road, currently 32nd. This is not what this team needs at all. As they're coming in for a pit stop right there. Fisher also have heavy rear end damage. Derek Hamill, another driver who needs to run good, as he is currently runs 20th right now. Pit shorter. The loader cutoff line needs a top 10 or better yet a top 5 to help make the next race much better for him, much easier as he makes contact right there with Sam Adoskin in the 33. Fitzwaters came close to winning I think twice so far in the chase but ended up getting wrecked. We go back up to the front. James Bowles on the fire from William Brock. Is William Brock going to try to take the lead? Eli Bright desperately trying to get a lap back here. Eli Bright going to do all he can to try to block that 33. James Bowles, he has nothing to worry about. He's locked into the championship run. These three chases up here, however, are not. So they're trying all they can. William Brock is currently second in the standings. He doesn't have to worry about Bowles, he just has to worry about Parker and um, Gustavo Rocha. William Brock, he's going to come around and lead this time by. More drivers coming in for their service in, um, on pit road. Really good racing right now. that caution flag is out yes it is not sure who it was the 19 of um, any Strickland's on pit road Jay Jefferson with heavy rear end damage so the yellow flag is out William Brock in the 33 is your leader that's how we're gonna come out for pit stops get you a look at the replay Right here is where this wreck all started. Um, Jay Jefferson and Maria Valera, I think, had a tire going down. She ends up sliding into the wall right there. Gets into the 40 or the 41 gets into her. And this gets hit by Ryan Butcher right there. Dylan Everhamian, nowhere to go for him. His day is done. Tough break for Jay Jefferson, who's been running really well these last couple of weeks. By weeks, I mean days. Close call right there for Diego Lopez. Seems to have fixed the damage on this car just a little bit, but Lopez is, um, oh man, two laps down. He's two laps down. So the yellow flag flies here at Texas. We'll get you back to the restart. Gonna get set to go green here with about 12 laps to go. As, um, Bunch of drivers are lap down. Only 26 cars remain on the lead lap. 
So the pace car pulls down pit road. Your leader is William Brock in the 33, and he has a ton, and I mean a ton, of lap cars in front of it. His green flag is back out. Oh, what is it? William Brock, the leader, Philip Parker is second. Followed by James Bowles, Arocha, and um, Jeff Bright. Jeff Bright, a former winner here at Texas. Back in the drove the 19. So we'll see how these chasers get around these slow cars. Part of freezing with damage. These guys are flying, coming to 10 to go next time by. William Brock still the leader. The 95 getting held up, not what Parker needs right now. Diego Pez, he's a lap down. But Ramian Fisher is kind of holding him up right there. Gustavo Rocha, he's going to force it three wide. He's trying to get around these guys. He's going to put Philip Parker in a three wide situation, and they make contact. Gustavo Rocha hard into the wall along with the 95. The yellow flag is out. Big mess here. Coming to this line right there. I see a bunch of chases involved in that one. Philip Parker, Chauncey Henry Jr. with damage. Oh man, and the yellow flag flies again. William Brock in the 33 is out front. And this is gonna change everything. So the yellow flag flies again here at Texas. Let's go take a look at the right here. It was just drivers being really aggressive. Gustavo Rocha trying to get around as much lap cars as possible. This has been a big turn. This has been a really bad turn for most drivers here today. Dr. Cipaz, a uh, spring winner here, gets collected. Charlton Henry Jr. just barely getting collected right there. James Bowles, he gets collected as well as he's going to have damage to his Chevrolet. It's probably won't be as fast now. So this really is going to hurt the one car because I don't know if they can fix that. Zachary Fitzwater also involved. Another look at it here. This is just hard racing. And this is a new track, new configuration. So drivers, this is their first time actually racing it on this track. So, I mean, that turn isn't the turn that changed. 38 went up in the air right there. 31 against turn Gustavo or, or um, James Sabilito getting involved too. And Abrahamian. Canario, another look at it here. This is just hard racing, and this is a new track, new configuration. So, drivers, this is their first time actually racing it on this track. So, I mean, that turn isn't the turn that changed. 38 went up in the air right there. 31 gets turn Gustavo or, or um, James Sabilito getting involved too. And Abrahamian, and Canario. Another look at it here. This is just hard racing. And this is a new track, new configuration. So drivers, this is their first time actually racing it on this track. So, I mean, that turn isn't the turn that changed. 38 went up in the air right there. 31 against turn Gustavo or, or um, James Sabilito getting involved too. And Abrahamian, and Canario, Jonathan Buford. Eagle Jones. On board the 48 of James Bowles here. Yeah, he just had nowhere to go. His car is left and right of him. For Pittswater here. Yeah, it looks like Sevilla didn't check up right there, but the yellow flag flies will get you back down to the conclusion of this race. So as we get ready to go back green here, more drivers out of the race. The 95 of Philip Parker, he's going to retire. Gustavo Arrocha retires. Out front is the 33 of William Brock as the green flag is out.
Only a broadcast, six laps, six laps to go. Winning this race will lock himself into the championship round. He too will be looking for his second championship if he does get into the final round. Along with James Bowles. The Fode Sacco in the 47, he currently runs second. Rickyard 400 winner. Came really close to winning a Pensacola 600 too. One of the closest races in, in Oropeel history. Currently running third is Derek Hamill in the 27. This is what he needs. Been having a string of bad luck lately. Hamill is currently third in points. He has 24 points right now, but still a good bit of points off of William Brock. So, just Derek Hamill is in a really good position right now for Phoenix to be much easier for him. Gustavo Rocha is most likely going to be down below the cutoff line after this. Let's see if we can find Fitzwater. Fitzwater, he currently runs 16th. This is still a good position for him. He, he's uh, only three points behind Gustavo Rocha. Rocha, who has retired. This is not good for him. So this will bump Fitzwater up into the good. Look at Eli Bright right there being aggressive. Is he going to brush right past the 42? Driver's making pit stops here. 88 looking fast. We go back up to the lead. William Brock in the 33. Coming to two to go. Liam Brock, last win came at Michigan earlier this season in the summer. Hasn't really kind of had a battle, battle, a bunch of battles after that. My frame rates are fucking dropping like rock. Uh, can uh, hope hope 33 can make it here on field. Anything could happen here out of as they come out of turn as he comes out of turn two. William Brock in the 33 looking for his second win this season. As I think he's gonna do it out of turn four championship round for William Brock at Texas. William Brock wins it here for his fifth career win here. And it comes at Texas and one of the, his probably his most important win as it will lock him into the championship round with James Bowles. Now we have two champions going for a second championship. So this sets up Phoenix to be real interesting. Great run for Derek Hamill. He finishes second. He was able to get by to 47. But congratulations to William Brock in his fifth career win and a chase or a championship for birth. Derek Hamill second, Buffold Soccer third, Kevin Warren fourth. He's been having really good runs lately. Jeff Bright finishes fifth, Maria Valera sixth. Another top ten for her. I'm telling you, she's she's been on fire these last couple races. Um, Ryan Butcher seventh, Fitzwater he gets eighth, just what he needed. Chauncey Henry Jr. him too. He finishes ninth, and Marcus Lopez. Runs out your top 10. So next week is going to be really hard for Philip Parker, Gustavo Orocha, and uh, Diego Yepes. He finished his 26th. He couldn't get those laps back. So congratulations to William Brock on winning here at Texas. Him and he joins James Bowles in the championship four for Homestead. Let's get you down to victory lane.